Am I a liberal? Let me fix the camera here. Put this back out. Okay, so we're taking a political personality test to see if I'm a liberal or a conservative or fall somewhere in between. Um, I like to post political articles or comments on social media. Agree. I read or watch a lot of political content every week. Agree. I directly participate in political campaigns. Disagree. I really, maybe when I got a license, so I'll say somewhat agree. I rely on scientific sources to understand political issues. Agree. I want to greatly change the way things are. Agree. I do everything I can protect to protect traditional religious values. Neutral. An educational system, education system that teaches science and tolerance is essential for democracy. Agree. I don't know about the tolerance part, so I'll go neutral. I believe that people are good at heart. Agree. The U.S. should always honor world agreements and support our allies. Agree. Our planet's health should be a priority over business growth. Agree. Protecting LGBTQ Minority and women's rights is very important. Agree. My country should respect immigrants and provide a fair path to citizenship. Agree. Maximizing business wealth should be our uh, country's top priority. Disagree. Access to universal and affordable health care is a fundamental right. Agree. Government should strongly regulate business. Agree. Submit my answers, and let's see. Am I liberal or conservative? I'm a justice warrior. Fuck. I am not a social justice warrior. 9% Democrat. You are a champion of change who fights for progress. Justice warriors are generally caring individuals who radiate authenticity and altruism. Never want to back down from a fight. We never want to back down from a fight. You are known for being a catalyst for change, but are always responsible, honest, and respectful in the approach. You are generally a natural leader, able to rally people around causes you truly believe in, like social justice, government accountability, and education. Why I don't like this answer is because... This is not the definition of most social justice warriors. Most social justice warriors are just rude a-holes who, if you don't agree with them, they call you a racist or a bigot or a Nazi. So overview. You are full of confidence and are known to be a cash passionate individual who wants to create a better future. I don't have much confidence. Your idealism and strong personality makes you unafraid to stand up for your beliefs and fight for others, even if they are not ready to fight for themselves yet. Uh, it's a weird way to word it. Well, you have strong opinions, you would never bully or mislead someone. No, I don't try to mislead someone. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. In fact, if trained, you can be a strong communicator who is able to explain an idea in a way that can inspire others, whether it be through logic or emotion. I wish. I'm not really good at explaining. That's why you guys, that's why uh, I do not sound logical, because I'm not good at explaining things. This makes you one of the best personality types to debate with. I can't debate. While you listen to others, you demand that the discussion be reasonable, honest, and respectful. 100% agree there. You are known for being tolerant until someone crosses a line, but you can still retain your sense of self even in the midst of conflict. Cross what line? You are a big believer in the good and the power of the people almost to a fault and take pride in helping others become the best form of themselves. This makes you the perfect politician and community organizer because you are able to create movements that bring everyone into the political fold. Top Values 
As a justice warrior, your, your values center around the protection of human rights, healthcare access, and environmental sustainability. Economic and social policy decisions should promote these values and ensure there is justice for all. Healthcare access is access to affordable health care is essential. Protect equal rights. Everyone should have their personal rights protected. Sustainability, economic, and environmental policy should prioritize sustainability. Justice for all. Every person and company should be treated fairly and held accountable. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue. Political traits. Using MPP's trait and engagement criteria, your personality match as a justice warrior shows high levels of value, assertiveness, optimism, and change appetite. This means that you are a steadfast champion of reform for the greater good. You're not afraid of change, and in fact, you welcome it. You're still open to new information, but those who have opposing views need to substantiate their beliefs before you will buy in. Well, I agree with that, but most social justice warriors don't. My, I can't ever get my camera right. I got high political engagement, optimistic idealism, major ref, uh, change appetite, major reform. Uh, decision making process, emotional reasoning, agreeableness, uh, open minded, value assertiveness, very assertive. Your ideal society. Your ideal society would lead the way to greatness and prosperity for all. Everyone would have an equal say at the table and be given the resources like health care and a good working wage to make sure that they can get to where they want to go in life. Agree. I think everyone, I think equality is an important thing. Now, I do not think there is too much inequality when it comes to stuff like race and things. I think we've kind of uh, fixed uh, things like that. But there is inequality when it comes to uh, workers' wages and things. The rich, the 1%, have 300 or 350 times more than the average worker. Your society would not accept limitations of a single system, but try to fix them by changing it or making it anew. The government would fight back against economic inequality and make sure businesses are held accountable for their actions. I don't feel like this is a social justice thing. I feel like this is more democratic socialism. I don't know. Maybe they go on hand in hand. Maybe I'm wrong, okay? Maybe. Possibly. But I feel like liberalism is just a bunch of idiots preaching tolerance, but then get offended by everything. That's, that's what I've seen. And that's not what I am. Um, the government would fight back against economic inequality, make sure businesses are held accountable for their actions. This society would inspire and empower people to change their world. The society would recognize the importance of communities and partnerships to protect people's rights, but also be used to combat climate change and other worldly problems. Justice warriors are mostly often aligned with the platform, social values, and pro-science leanings of the Democratic Party. Now, uh, I would vote Democrat for only the most progressive people like Bernie Sanders or people like that, Democrat socialists, uh, that uh, support like universal health care and stuff like that and uh, things like that. Um, I'm mostly de uh, Democrat. I'm uh, green, kind of green. Um, kind of libertarian and mo and least Republican. And mostly for health, second for liberty, third for environment, and fourth for wealth. Those are my priorities, apparently. I got a 90% Democratic ticket. I wouldn't I would be open to voting third party. Thing is a lot of not a lot of them are not third party candidates and What's this? View platform? Oh, democrats.org. No. Well, 
whatever. But anyway, political priorities. Social health care, 90% high priority. Environmental health, high priority. Wealth maximization, low priority. Immigration rights, high priority. Social equality, high priority. Education reform, high priority. Religious fundamentals, low priority. Amicable global relations, high priority. Law and regulation, high priority. My strengths are that I'm reliable. Others know that they can trust you and are drawn to you. Uh, I'm charismatic. You have a way with words that can inspire others. I don't know about that. I think that's total crap. Uh, altruistic. You are a frequent giver and often feel the need to donate to charity. I would if I wasn't plumb broke. Passionate. You care about what's going on and making a noticeable difference. Weakness. Sensitivity, you are vulnerable to strong criticism, and it can stay with you for days. Um, I just get kind of annoyed with uh, constant, you're wrong because uh, Republicans say so. That's I just mostly get annoyed. Too selfless, you tend to overpromise, and this can disappoint others when you fail to meet them. Yeah, uh, stuff like that, especially with politicians, is kind of a problem. Need a cause. You heavily dislike dull tasks and need something to believe in to remain motivated. I agree with that. Overly optimistic. You assume the best in people and you be caught off guard by their behavior. I don't fully trust no one. Justice warrior power ups, register a vote to exercise your voice, uh, join or start a nonprofit, run for local or national office. I do plan to vote for local office, uh, run run for vocal local office. Uh, someday I hope to be a senate because I think I can actually change things. Um, uh, hopefully. Rally your peers for your ideal vision. Future fulfillment. You work best when you are able to lead others to improve themselves in the world, which means you... I already read that. I feel like I already read that. I don't know. But we're going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoy. If you got any uh, ideas or things you want me to react to or anything, comment down below. Let me know. And that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Try not to kill each other. And peace.